Hey, it's a Humble Collector here, and in today's video we have another unboxing, though it's kind of a strange one. I uh, didn't hit record, so I ended up opening this large package off camera, I apologize. And it appears that I was actually sent the wrong lot. Um, there's actually a lot of paper documents, all kinds of stuff actually. Um, so from what I can gather, and I just emailed the guy to let him know what happened, but basically he had two lots listed at once. And I think he screwed them up when he shipped them out to the, the winners. Um, frankly, I'm fine with this. Like, if the other guy ends up not replying to him, just keeps the stuff that I bought. I mean, I think I end up getting more documents this way. So, that is a lot of stuff we get to look through today. Uh, let's see, we got a gas mask manual. Oh, property of civilian defense. Is this World War II or is this Cold War? Let's, uh... I'm not very good at identifying gas masks, to be honest with you. So, it looks like it used to maybe have a back on it. I'm not sure. It could be World War II or it could be post. It's interesting. Army songbook with uh, such classics as The Monkeys Have No Tails in Zambo. Zamboanga? Okay, Mountain Battery, Old King Cole, okay. And that is uh, 1941, okay, so that's World War II. It's going in the definite World War II pile. Um, Puck Guide France. Ta -da. For US mil use military personnel only, not to be republished or whole in part. And there's no copyright, but I am going to just go out on them and say this is World War II. Or if not World War II, maybe just like slightly after. Yeah. Then we got Language Guide to Italian. That one is a World War II date. Ooh, 1943 to be exact. Very fun. And then what is this? Oh. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little pocket guide full of what, phrases and... Guide to Alsatio? Alsatio? I don't know where that is, actually. Oh, there's a nice map here. Looks like maybe the south coast of Spain, I'm guessing. And, uh... No date on there, but I'm guessing that's probably World War II as well. Or... At least in that era. Ooh, postcards. A lot of postcards. Okay, so the one side has like almost like postcard pictures, the other side has writing. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's funny, I prepared to talk about the uh, documents I ended up getting, or I was gonna get, and then I didn't get them, so it was very interesting. This looks like a little shipboard newspaper, maybe. Ah, the civilian call aboard SS Edward Rutledge, September, Saturday, September, Saturday 20th, October 1945. Is this, okay, so maybe this is a multiple sheets then. Oh, they're two different issues. So we got the October 29th and the, uh, October 20th editions of the Civilian Call. Very nice. Cordo de Venice. Ah, oh, so this is going to be similar to that other one. It's going to have like postcards. And. Yeah, and then on the back it'll have. Oh, this one actually has descriptions of everything you're seeing. So it's not like the other one that has just like a fact book. And it looks like the inside cover here is a map of Venice. Huh. 
Very cool. Mission accomplished. Africa, Sicily, and Italy. Oh, that's cool. Looks like a little bit of a history of that theater. Anzio. Yeah, oh, very nice. Ooh, 1939 driving map of Spain, it looks like. Very cool, this is pre-war. So yeah, some of this more like touristy stuff, I'm probably gonna end up selling eventually. Um, got another issue of civilian call there as well. Yeah, October 30th. Very nice. What's this? Oh, it's a map of Venice, it looks like. This probably goes with that book, or maybe it was even in it at some point. Let's see if I fold that back up, and then... Yeah, so like a, maybe a sleeve? No, I'll just put it in here. Just, yeah, kind of goes together. Looks like another copy of the civilian call here. Oh, wait. Places to visit in Venice. The, the Church of St. Mark. Um, the Doge's Palace. Church of Santa Maria della. Okay, so I guess that means this one is like a World War II. This probably came from the same vet then. Very neat. In that case, I'll put that in there as well. Keep that. Oh, Recuerdo de Pompeii. That's what it looks like when he was stationed over there. He sightseed, went sightseeing all over Italy. And what we got? We got uh, a street, and an arch, and a statue. That's Apollo. Oh. Very nice. Ooh, another copy of this Philian call, but this one's like a little magazine. From Leghorn, Italy to Hampton Roads, Virginia. Okay, so it looks like this guy was part of the Mediterranean Theater at the end of the war. He was still there, and that's how he got back, I'm guessing. This is the Zuvenir Edition. So I have a Zuvenir Edition and another one. So this is like the last edition I guess they got before they got home. So Army Forces Transportation Corps, the Army of the United States, New York Point of Embarkation, Private First Class, Henning V. Bergren. So I guess that's the guy whose all this stuff was. Returning to the United States on the ship SS Edward Rutledge on 17th October 1945. So I guess it's his little pass saying that he came back on that boat. That's pretty cool. Ooh, autographs. What we got? We got Samuel Simons, Arthur C. Plinkett. Maybe. Oh. Very nice. Looks like we got one more copy of that as well, the civilian call. It's fascinating stuff. I know it doesn't make for a great video, but I find it fascinating. Um, 88th welcomes you, Italy, 1945. So I guess he's part of the 88th then, I guess. Blue Devils. A oh, soldier, he said blue devil. What the hell's that? Uh, there you go. Published by the Information and Education Office of the 88th Infantry Division. Huh. Very nice. We got war maps of Europe. Let's 
see, we got uh, Europe and North Africa from 1939, 1940. We got the uh, Asian Theater. U.S. Wow, 1940 census figures for U.S. counties and principal cities. That's uh, I don't know why you need that in a war map book. Like it makes sense if it was maybe like foreign stuff, but uh, hmm. weird. And one last thing it looks like, and I got one more package to open. Oh gosh, what is this? I'm guessing a map of some kind. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, War Department, Corps of Engineers, U.S. Army, France, Paris, sheet number R11. Wow. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. That doesn't have anything on the back. This is a restricted first edition. Oh, very nice. Prepared under the direction of the Chief Engineer by 660th Engineers, 1944. Compilation for partially controlled mosaic utilizing slotted template. Oh. Cool. So yeah, I uh, normally I'd start putting these, I have a book that I keep all my paper documents in, the ones that will fit anyway. Um, I'm going to wait though until he gets back to me because I might have to return all this, which honestly I'm kind of attached now that I've gone through it all and there's kind of a story attached to this stuff. I, uh, so hopefully the other guy's happy with what he ended up getting and I don't have to return it. Alright. And here we have another stick pin, actually. Um, be probably a little more exciting for you guys than the uh, the documents there. Though, like I said, I find that stuff uh, fascinating. Now the question is, was enough tape used? There we go. Oh, look at that. Very nice. And there we go, that is a uh, stick pin for a wound badge in black. My camera doesn't like focusing on stick pins for some reason. And it's kind of hard to see against the table. Come on. Yeah, very cool. That'll look nice with my uh, my full-size one. But yeah, so, I don't know, a pretty, pretty good haul. Um, yeah, very odd, because like I said, I didn't really know what the paper documents were going to be. But, uh, yeah, and if I do end up having a return, I guess I'll do another one with the, uh, the other documents I get. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you'd like. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Happy collecting, and I hope to see you all again soon.